Okay, Revolution has always got our back when it comes to home electronics, solar panels, water heaters, thermal water heaters. And I'm joined by Eric How's today. It? You know, I'm glad to be talking to you because you're going to show us something that I think a lot of homes in Hawaii are familiar with, these thermal solar water heaters, right? Right. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, they say about one in four homes in Hawaii has a solar thermal wow. system, and that goes all the way back to the 80s, right? Yes. In so, fact, I think ours is from the 80s at my house. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of people's are. People's uh, solar IQ, I'd say, in Hawaii is, is much higher than the rest of the nation mm -hmm. because we've adopted solar for so long. Mm -hmm. In the 80s, there was a huge boom in solar, and so usually when you say you got solar, people say, yeah. And then you have to probe a little bit more to determine, yeah. is it PV, right. thermal, exactly. and all these things. And, and to be honest, so we don't have PV, but we have the thermal kind. But to be honest, technology has changed since 1980, Quite a bit. Right? Quite a bit. Quite so a bit. what do we have in here today, this, this, this box? I'm not quite sure. I really have an opener. You, I, I know it's probably cobwebs mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff, but this is where our solar thermal tank is okay. located. And like a lot of homes in Hawaii, it's out of sight, yep. out of mind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So let's take, you ready? Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, see let's if there's anything it. that's going to jump out If anything out jumps out, yeah, you okay. get it, you right? Oh, I see some geckos and stuff and okay. leaves. But yeah, it looks it looks like it's been a while for this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is fairly typical to um, what what most people have in Hawaii. So so what are we seeing here? You break it down like these pipes and everything like that. What is the typical system kind of built around? So it's kind of Frankenstein-ish, right? Mm -hmm. You've got all of these pipes, almost like you really can't even see the tank, <laughs> yeah, right? That's true. So I'm looking right here and I see about 11 valves. Yeah. Basically, all of this is necessary to take the cold water that's in the tank mm -hmm. and pump it up to the roof to the collectors. It oh. then gets warm and comes back down. Oh. But you've got a series of check valves and ball valves and this and that to ensure if anything happens, you can close it off and, you know, yeah. whatever for maintenance, right? right? But um, most people don't know what to do with it, right? Yeah. They, and uh, th when I look at this, I all I see is a builder as points of failure. Yeah, and the crazy thing is, is as we were talking, my son about a couple years ago, the kids were playing in the garage where ours is. I didn't even know it was in the black closet there. We had just moved right. in the house, and all of a sudden I hear him playing with all these things, which is like, oh no, don't do that. But when you see stuff like this, these are also like you were saying, points of possible leaks or problems in the future, right? Correct. So how do we minimize that, with, especially with the products that you guys have? So we offer the sun ban. Mm -hmm. I think we've talked about it in the yeah. shows in the past, yeah. and it's also on display at our showroom. You know, it's the so, it's the newest technology in heating water. Basically, picture a brand new tank mm -hmm. with one conduit, an electrical conduit that comes down off the roof and into the tank, and that is connected to PV panels on your roof. It send electricity down oh. to a heating element, and that's it. So this, all of this pipe, the pump, the valves, all of that goes away. Now, when someone wants, if they're at home, is it a complicated process to take this, as you said, Frankenstein unit out and put in one of your great ones? No, it's very simple. I think many people may think PV, oh yeah. wait, is HECO involved? Yeah, yeah. That's not the case. Interesting. Um, HECO's not involved in, in terms of the PV. Mm -hmm. So we come out, we do consultations every day. We take a look at your size of the tank that you have now, ah, how many people are in the home, when we size it correctly. Uh -huh. It may be that you had a tank for five people, but three of them went off to college. And so now your tank is too large, right? And you're not using enough hot water. Yeah, and okay. what that means, if you're not using your water, it's sitting there oh and it's, de it's degrading the inside of the tank. Exactly. I've so wow. for people that love hot water and they love thermal, that's great. It's done a great job. What we're introducing is just a, a better, yeah. newer, you know, current time technology. Well, what I love about Revolution is you guys have the industry experience and you know how the installation and what people need and stuff like that, and especially that great product. I think I'm going to talk to Grandpa and see if we can uh, retire our Frankenstein unit. Now, if anybody wants to know, can they come down to the Innovation Center and actually see that as well and see it right in person? All of our products are on display Monday through Friday, uh, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. We also hold our monthly seminar mm -hmm. the third Saturday of every month. And they can visit, uh, visit us online. I love it. Eric, thank you for showing thank us you. this. And uh, yeah, I guess we can Let's close, close the door. <laughs> All right. I learned Maybe. a lot of that. Maybe. <laughs> All right. It is. And like they said, they have one on display in their mm -hmm. innovation center along with many other products. So if you want to go and just get more information, that's really the best. Yeah. Best and you can kind of play with all the buttons and see everything mm -hmm. and how it actually fits. So that is very cool.